Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Going out to 12 November, Thursday here. Just looking at this gold chart. Um, this is an important level down here. Uh, 1848. Through that, uh, we see pretty good chance of lower prices. So we got to keep a real close eye on uh, 1848 in gold. As far as currencies go, uh, euro spilled through 80 yesterday, and now it's back up here, 88 the high last night. Pretty low liquidity day yesterday with the US on holiday. Um, this looks like a sell to me. Uh, can you get some out near 118? Mm, perhaps. But let's keep an eye on bonds, right? Bonds are higher today, so there should be less uh, pressure on euro. In my mind, bonds are what's driving the bus. Here's the ZB. You can see they're higher from these lows here, uh, 169.17. Up almost two points. Let's look at the yield. Can't quite get through this 177 area. Let's go to the dailies. This is the high from June. You can see we have this sort of double top deal here. Um, this is a very, very big and important level. Uh, 177 on the tens. It's basically 95 was the high, but we're kind of using one. 1%. It's like sort of the psychological deal. Um, but the June highs were 954. We did get up to 975. Now we're sort of dicking around. You kind of have to wonder if there's uh, support here in ZN. Uh, support here on the yield side. So it would be resistance on the uh, bonds themselves. Anyway cable got smashed yesterday we were flying up through uh, 133 and then we had some news about delays and the usual brexit malarkey you can see it was this bar bang um, down to 40 fucked around 50 60 bang stop that all the guys who got long here at 132.06 quite familiar with that level um, does this have further downside well on the chart it sort of looks like it but God knows it's cable and it's brexit stuff so who knows uh, dollar Swiss another green bar uh, expecting even more of these we should probably take a peek at 9207 eventually this week we're going to try and pick this up. We're going to try and pick it up at 40. Trading at 60 now. Um, watching bonds. Especially if bonds turn hard left. We'll just pay an offer. But, um, dollar Swiss higher. We like that. Dollar yen not doing much. Uh, traded up to that same high. 66, 67. I have a feeling this is the cloud. Anyone who watches uh, Ichimoku Clouds, I have a feeling this is the cloud up here, and this is also the 100 day, is up here at 70. Um, this is about to make a huge head and shoulders, so this right shoulder is going to be here. You want to pick this up on the dip uh, 105.10 to 105. Dollars are we played on the long side yesterday, worked out a little bit. Just had some pennies in the pennies in the system. Not paying any bills with that, but um, this is interesting. This uh, looks good if we get bonds left, which we think is dollar higher, and stocks left, stocks and bonds left, dollars are higher. This is a long way to go. Uh, I don't know what it's doing down here. I guess this is a Biden trade, but um, core long dollars are 
just pennies nothing no chips in the middle there we need a better setup for chips uh, but we like dollars are higher now dollar max um, bullish bar yesterday after a doji but not quite the close we were looking for plus it was a holiday if we'd closed up at 63 after this doji bar on Tuesday it would have been much stronger that's pretty pretty powerful there I mean moderately powerful um, crude very bid but then did turn uh, I'm not sure on dollar max let's take a look at crude Big turn bar, bang, 53.05 the high. I like them apples. Wow. Glad I don't trade crude for a living. I don't know why that turned, but it did. Ooh wee. Already made a lower low today. Um, crude looks like it's turned, huh? No idea what's going on there. Um, historically, I suck at crude, so just leave that alone. Check out Dollar Turkey, you slut. Look at that. Now 70 handles from this 50 area we were selling. We stopped ourselves out. Just tremendous. Erdogan bowing to conventional pressure. And now, like, you know, orally fixating the Treasury, the Finance Minister. Market likes that. Why wouldn't they? Bang. It's a cool 50 handles. Wow. Dollar turkey. Heavens to Betsy. Anyway, um, we have some uh, data today. We have uh, industrial production. We've got GDP. And, Industrial production out of um, Europe. We got uh, GDP out of the UK. We got CPI today out of the US. And um, we also got Lagarde and Bailey and Powell speaking. Uh, I think either this is the equivalent of Sintra, which they're usually in Portugal, but now they'll be on some Zoom thing. But uh, 5.45 p.m. So this time we got the central governors, central banking, three musketeers or three stooges, depending on uh, your perspective. So that'll be interesting. Uh, we will be watching CPI pretty closely <clears throat> just because we're, we like trying to get short bonds uh, in these days. Um, as far as trades today... Uh, 1848 in gold. We're watching that level very, very closely. Uh, we're going to try and get short some uh, euros up near 118. As far as close entries, we don't really see too much. Let me just throw this Aussie chart up real quick. Turn bar, indecision, indecision. I think Aussie's going to turn been saying this now for a few days certainly got caught out on this day in the ninth that was your vaccine day jerks <laughs> I mean amazing save the world um, I don't know 7250 is that your bingo number we like trying lousy downside. We'll have to see how that uh, how that progresses. Anyway, not a whole lot super close here at the open. Um, so we're just kind of watching, watching the biggest level and the most important chart out there is gold. Um, no chips into the center until 1848. We tried a little short at 60 yesterday, but then we cut at the close. Um, we'll probably nibble on the short side pre the level, but chips go in only when we see uh, prices, let's say, below 50. But 48 is the bingo number in gold. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.